How's it going Pokemon fans? So how about that? They just revealed many new Pokemon as a leak and later on we receive a video that was posted on the official Pokemon Japanese YouTube channel showcasing all these new Pokemon. But there's one that really caught my attention, Tapu Koko, who is the guardian on the first island you start on. Many have tried to decipher what the name could represent, but still there is no solid connection. But now that we have an actual representation of this Pokemon, I think I found enough evidence that could reveal its true origin. Get ready because the connections are mind blowing. With the E3 gameplay of Pokemon Sun and Moon, it is confirmed that the region is composed of four main islands and on top of that, each island has its own guardian. Tapu Koko is the first one we learn about, and pretty much all we learned was that there was a special festival to pay tribute to this deity. Looking at his name alone is very difficult to pinpoint its origin, but if we pay close attention to its design, choice of typing, and little details you might have missed, we can see a strong connection to one of the four main gods in Hawaiian mythology. For those who don't know about them, they are Kane, Ku, Lono, and Kanaloa. With four islands, it is most likely that each will have a Pokemon representing one of these deities. And the one they presented us today, well, I believe is none other than the great god Lono. Lono is associated with fertility, peace, music, agriculture, and rainfall. But as we look through its legends, we now get to see the similarities to this Pokemon. According to some old Hawaiians, Lono is the god with head hidden in the dark clouds above. The first shot of Tapu Koko shows how he's able to hide its upper body with its arms, forming a bird-like head. And I also want you to notice how the clouds are dark during this animation. I believe this is a reference to Lono. As per the bird head, it can also be explained because the way this god was represented as its material form by Hawaiians, it is a long wooden pose with a bird head on top. We also get to see Tapu Koko coming from above from what it looks like a sky battle, adding to the whole notion of the god in the dark clouds above. And now we come to the most important piece of evidence, the types Game Freak selected for this Pokemon, Electric and Fairy. Now Fairy just seems as a natural choice for a Pokemon that represents a deity or some sort of mythical creature, but the Electric type is what really connects this Pokemon to the great god Lono. As per Hawaiian prayers, the signs with these gods are named as Thunder, Lightning, Earthquake, the Dark Cloud, the Rainbow, Rain and Wind, just to name a few. We can even look at this small quote from an old chant. Lono, the rolling thunder, the heaven that rumbles, that disturbs sea. So, if Pokemon is to represent the four main gods in Hawaiian culture, we have yet to see three more guardians. But for now, Tapu Koko seems to fit really well with the god Lono. So what do you guys think? Maybe you have even more evidence that can help this theory, or even debunk it. Make sure to share that in the comments below. Only time will tell if this is Tapu Koko's true origin. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, Pokemon fans. Mm -hmm.